My name is Trenda Piercy. I am a current employee at the Salvation Army Door of Hope. I was a child of alcoholic and addict parents um, that were not involved or present in my life. I was just really damaged in many ways and I found drugs and alcohol at a young age. At the age of probably 13, and this went on through my adult life. This is what I was familiar with. This was the life that my parents had lived. Looking back now, I know that I was homeless through that time, but the drugs and the alcohol distort your thinking so much that you don't realize the situation that you're in. I have two children. My daughter was born in 2003. My son was born in 2008. I tried to juggle my addiction, living a lie, but there came a point when I had made attempts to stop and I was realizing that that I couldn't and I knew I needed help. So I uh, had reached out to a pastor in my hometown and he told me about a program that was a Christian rehab program. He told me about the Salvation Army and I knew that it being a Christian program that it was gonna be the place for me. So I came to the Salvation Army ARC in San Diego and I felt like this was a place for a new start for me. I ended up staying at the rehab for 11 months while I was on the waiting list to participate in the temporary housing program here at the Door of Hope. When I got the phone call that the apartment was ready, I was, I was, I was hopeful and I was beyond myself. And when I seen the apartment, I just, tears of joy just streamed down my face and being able to bring my children to the program. The day that I brought them here, I looked down as we opened the door and we prayed and I promised them that life would be different from here on out. And I promised them and myself that this would never be, that was only up from there. So I began to work with a case manager at the Dorval program who taught me how to budget, how to pay my bills on time, how to maintain being a mother, how to, how to manage life and how to function. This isn't something that I was able to learn from my own parents. So it was all new to me, but it was up to me to break the cycle and to show my children a different side of life. This was creating a life that I never knew existed and I never thought that I was worthy of. When it was time to transition out of the Door of Hope Transitional Living Program, I didn't want to let go of the Door of Hope campus. I always felt at home here. So I continued coming to the grounds here to participate in Celebrate Recovery Program. During one of the meetings, Major Jessica mentioned to me that there was a job opening and that I should apply for it to work here. What an amazing opportunity that was. I submitted the application and I was hired as a resident assistant where I was able to be on the other side of it. Basically, I'm on the front line of the phone calls of people in trauma, mothers that are homeless, that are trying to find a solution for their children. I get to be the one who opens that apartment door and shows the mother that they're going to have a bed to sleep in that night with tears rolling down their cheek because they know now that they have the opportunity and a safe place to begin the change and to work with them on themselves. So now I am able to apply those same strategies that were shared with me that led to me being able to manage and to build a new life, I'm going to be able to be that person to other families as well. I'm just really thankful for all that the Salvation Army has done for me and my family. Thank you to all the people who have donated their time, their money, and their efforts. I just want you to know that I am a living proof of what these programs can do 
and with God's love and the help of others giving heart, families are being changed. Restoration is happening. Cycles are being broken. Curses of generations are changing here. Lives are not the same when they leave here. So I just want to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to share my story and thank you for all that you do.